percent passes. Hundred percent passes. Time. A bit of grilling time. Bit of grilling time. So let me just kind of fill in in terms of what's kind of going on now. We don't know if the game's going to be going ahead. So, so Charlie came up with an ingenious idea to interview yours truly. Yeah, boy. So hey, this is uh, Charlie's segment. So go go ahead. Okay. So um, just looking at today's kind of uh, weather and the uh, form of the pitch. I mean, you personally, would you mind playing on uh, something quite like this? This is literally what I call carpet. This is what I'm used to playing on. Um, I think as, as a player, we just want to play football. Um, fair enough, the centre circles seem to be slightly slightly waterlogged and when I say slightly just a little puddle um, but everywhere else seems a-okay I've literally played on worse pitches okay. um, but um, you just have to play to the conditions okay, you know yeah yeah, you, yeah you, you've just got to play really all right, um, yeah. all right good 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 next question um, so given the weather it, it is quite cold today it is quite cold I mean, do you find, as a player, you kind of prefer playing this condition, like, regardless of the pitch? I mean, sometimes when it's too hot, I mean, you get way more fatigued, you're sweating more, it's not easier to clear it, but I find sometimes, with the weather a bit colder, does it help you regulate, like, while you're playing, like, you, could, you feel like you can play for longer, you want to fight against the cold, or what's your opinion? I always say when it's weather like this, this is perfect football weather. Mm. Championships are not won in the summer. They are won from November, December, January, February. Because mm. it's the coldest part of the year. It's rain, wind, everything else in between. And that's when you know, with your teammates anyway, who can stomach the fight. Mm. Um, because you can't always play pretty football you know you have to you have to win your your like battles and when it kind of comes to this type of environment you you're, yeah like you've got, got to prepare right you've got to warm up a little bit differently but when it kind of comes to fighting on the pitch and when you know that the pitch is a leveler in terms of how it looks and let and literally how it plays you do you yeah you just know that you just have to fight for every ball, win every header, win every tackle, and of course still have the ability to to put away chances. So for me personally, I love this type of weather. Nice, nice. Okay. Would you think of the uh, the surrounding like uh, this this kind of stage area for the uh, spectators is very good? Do you think that's very key in kind of grassroots football to get you know the fans in to have almost like a little shelter for people to find it easier to come and view the games like do you think that goes a long way 100% um, you know I've had family members that want to come out and watch me play but they just look outside and there's no shelter um, and you know this is slightly different this is semi-pro level so they have a clubhouse and you know they have something like this where you know of course it's not going to protect you from the elements but it's something um, and of course, you know, any money that's been, that can be put back into the grassroots level of football is always good. Okay. Because, you know, um, you want to encourage the next generation, uh, the boys, the girls, men, women, at whatever, it, you know, ability level yeah. to come out and just enjoy the sport and, okay, you know, nice. enjoy football. Yeah. Follow up question. Do you think the FA could do more for kind of grassroots football? in creating more programs and creating more revenue for like seating areas like this for more pitches across the country? 100%. Um, playing football at this level is a very expensive sport. So um, anyone, so players can pay anything between five to 15 pounds a game and that's subs plus um, money for training and that's not even including petrol, um, food, drinks, kit, 
kit as well. You know, we have to buy our, our um, own kit. So with, so with Peckham, you know, I, I had to buy my own kit. Um, subs are a tenner um, plus training as well. So that does add up. Um, and people's, people's, um, I'd say, uh, income hasn't, hasn't increased and they keep going on about obesity and and eating right and they all say go out and play sports but how can people play sports like this when you know it costs sometimes over 500 pounds 600 pounds a year if not more um yes so they could do um like a lot more there's you know got to be more incentives for for like clubs to actually start up yeah um and there's just got to be something in place you know where they kind of create more um 4g pitches or weather pitches in estates in areas where people can just come and just play um i know you know of course you know um in terms of spending like your own money like a lot of people would say well why like don't you just go to an open grass field and play football yes you can do that but you also want that feeling of that competitiveness to actually win something and and of course having that camaraderie with your teammates and with other people as well and that's what i enjoy about football but i mean it, i mean i i know i've easily spent over a few grand on football yeah easily i'm not gonna say how much <laughs> um but easily and you know i'm not gonna get that back but the price i pay for that is enjoyment health um, and just being around other like people um, that enjoy the passion beautiful game. game. Passion for the game. Passion for the game. <laughs> Need that close up. Let's go one more time. Go on. Passion for the game. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Thank you, T.